today we're going to be making some pretty <clears throat> patchwork pockets and collage pockets for junk journal pages. And we're going to get started and here's the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need some cardstock, you're going to need fabric scraps, glue stick, liquid tacky glue, some trims, some little uh, cover cut out fabric pieces, of course your scissors, possibly a sewing machine, and an eyelet and an eyelet setter. So hi, this is Marcia. Welcome back to Markets of Sunshine, your place to get inspired for all your crafting and sewing projects for beginners and intermediate level. <clears throat> so I wanted to share with you how quick and easy it is and first of all talk about what is the difference between a patchwork and a collage. So here on the right, this is a collage. All right, so all I've taken is a piece of cardstock. I cut it out into a shape of a tag, first of all. And then I sewed a piece of black flannel onto it just to give it some contrast so that all the pieces that I'm gonna put on top will really stand out really pretty. Took a piece of really pretty metallic trim. This is my vine. And then I took select fabric pieces and I cut out leaf shapes, little teardrops, smaller leaves, a little heart right here, uh, another little accent piece. So just little tiny, tiny, tiny leaves, you know, just little baby leaves. And then over here is the patchwork design. So now you can see clearly what is the difference between a collage when you're talking fabrics and you could do this with paper as well and then patchwork. So a patchwork is where it's a definite shape put together. So it can be circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, and then you just match them up and fill in your space. So this is another larger tag. And then over here is a pocket. So here's one pocket. Here's another pocket. So this little tag here is going to go into this pocket. And then this larger tag here fits into this pocket. Okay, so it's just cardstock, and I just stitched it with a zigzag stitch. And I wanted to emphasize and seal up all of the edges, so that's why you're seeing it on the back. And so it's just so quick and easy to do. This is a rectangle, this is a square, this is another smaller square, and then this is just. Um, basically a square and then just cut it for the shape of the tag. And then I reinforced the whole opening with a, using my small circle punch front and back and then I put the eyelet in the center of that. And then down here, the technique that I did here, I'm going to show you here. So these are the same fabrics that or just showed you on this tag that I put here. The only thing I did is I did the reverse side of it to mute the colors. So I didn't want that sharp stark <laughs> brightness. I wanted it muted and subdued and very vintagey and um, aged look. So that's how you can do that. Just turn your fabrics over and then you've complete, got, given yourself a completely different look. So here's the same fabrics that I used here minus the orange stripe. That's the only one that I didn't put in here. And I may come in and just do maybe a little heart. I think I'll cut out a little heart and put it maybe here on this corner here or something. So this is a rectangle, here's a square, here's another larger rectangle, or square, probably, yeah, square. So rectangle, rectangle, square, square. And then I just overlapped these two and then came on top of them with the uh, green rectangles and then the, went around it with my metallic trim. And then I did the same thing here. This is a piece of vintage lace. The same fabrics, just on the reverse, and then came in with a metallic trim. So look at the difference. So if you would to just, now, this is the difference. Here it is with no metallic trim and with the metallic trim. So pretty. So now I can come back in on this and add my metallic trim all around the edges. So I will do that later, but I just wanted to show you the difference and what it looks like. And so now I've completed a layout in my... Um, junk journal. This is my food diary recipe book log for 2021. So it's going to be a fun, fun adventure for to be able to fill this in for the year. And it's just basically because I have a, 
uh, same menu that I follow, and I do a rotation food diet. And um, if you want to learn more about that, go over to my channel, Sunshine Homemaker, and I talk all about my health with Lyme disease and what is a food rotation diet and mast cell activation syndrome and having uh, food allergies and how to navigate with that and what how to figure out what you can eat and what you can't eat and what's causing the problems and all that kind of good stuff. All right, and so then what I did with my circle punch is I just took the cream-colored cardstock and I just cut out, punched out the different shape circles. So this one here for the reinforcement is the same one here. And then this is the smallest one that I had. So I just punched them all out and I just used a scrap piece that I had left over after making the tag. So all of these are reinforced with the cardstock, this cream cardstock stock on the back, and then fabric on the top. So what I want to show you today is we're going to glue these into place and then I will uh, stitch this metallic trim on the sewing machine later. But I want to make this exact tag with you using paper and let's see what the difference looks like. So are you ready for that? So let's get started. So we need a piece of cream colored cardstock. Come over to my stash and pick up a piece and we'll be able to get started. And then I'm going to use this tag. This is the same template that I used to make this one. All right, so let's just do that first. So let me slide my little book out of the way. And I had this piece left over. Let me see if it's big enough. So it's not quite big enough. If I kind of angled it, I'm still going to lose. Yeah, so might as well. I mean, I could do it like this and just come down a little bit. I wonder if that's what I did here. I think I did that here. All right, let's go ahead and do that, and then I'll save that. Okay, so we just turn this over. And since we're wanting the decorative top piece. Okay, where are we? <laughs> where are we? Making sure everything is being seen. Okay, you're seen. Good, 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 good. All right, got the lighting and all that. So the first thing you need to do is just outline your tag. And I like this decorative scallop edge here. Just gives it a little bit more interest. Clothespin, hold these two pieces together. Using a really sharp pair of scissors. And these are dedicated just for my paper. I have another one dedicated just for fabric. But since these are brand new, they're extremely sharp. So they can go through the layers with no problem. And then I can save this piece and use it in a small project in the future. Okay, now I just want to come over here to this side, cut it out, just follow around that edge. Okay, there we go. And now while I have them held together, I'm going to go ahead and punch the circle. then. So this one I sew, but this one I'm going to temporarily glue into place. 
Just going to use my glue stick, and I like to use the Scotch brand. It's going to go straight in the middle, so where the stitching is not going to come into contact with that glue later on, but of course by the time I get ready to stitch it, it'll probably be dry anyway. All right, now let's lay this piece back down, lining up our little hole at the top. Yeah, just rub a dub dub. Okay, so now that's going to hold that piece onto the cardstock. So now we can work with it and have a fun time playing with it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to use the same fabric pieces, but this time we're just going to glue them all into place. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it here. So take a piece of my metallic trim. And what I did is I just laid it on to see, okay, which, how did I want the vine to meander along? And give, give, it, give a thought to when you're going to stitch it into place. And you can hand stitch it if you don't have a sewing machine. Okay. All right, so there it's looking pretty good. All right, now I'm going to bring all of my little scraps over. Okay, so we have three bigger leaves going on here, and then we have the green is the smaller accent pieces, and then orange again is the little accent here, and then the little blue heart here in the corner. Okay, so all I need is a little piece. I don't need a whole lot. I'm just going to come in. I'm just going to cut off a little square off of that corner. <clears throat> All right, now this is what I do. This is how I do it. I just take it at the point, and I just cut into a curve, and then keep on the point, however fat you want the leaf to be, curve it back around, and place it wherever you want on the vine. Same thing here. Curve it, turn, okay, I think I'll have him come out this way, and then this one, Okay, now we're going to make a smaller leaf with the green. Doesn't really matter what in, but I don't want that folded crease here. Okay. Vary your shapes. You can vary the shape and the size.
adds a really fun element to your page, to your tags, completely different than what you've been doing. It's so fun, just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to come in here. I think let's do... <clears throat> Let's see what if I can get a red heart out of this. Halfway decent red heart. <laughs> Just like I fly by the seat of my pants and whatever comes out is what I'm what I say. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, so but you know what we're gonna do? Let's make this easier. Let's see if we can just draw a heart shape on the back of this. And then We will be more successful. I probably need a smaller pair of scissors when I'm cutting this smaller itty bitty pieces out. So I will need to invest in that. Good enough. I like it. Looks cute. Okay, now what else do we need? We need something here on this tail. So let's see. Blue. We already have the blue here. We got the little red heart there. I don't know if I want orange meeting orange. All right, let's think about this. Think, 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 think. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn the blue upside down and it's going to be muted now. So that solves that dilemma. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing on the orange, which the orange is pretty much can't really tell which side is which on the orange. Let's do, let's see. Let's go with the green. Shape it a little better on that side. Cute. I love it. Okay. Very nice. There you go. So that's th that's all you have to do. That quick and easy. It's not a lot of things you need to do. It's very, very simple. But look at what a difference it makes. A super, super project. Easy to do. Fun element. So now all we need to do is glue everything into place. Start down here with my little heart. Using Aileen's Tacky Glue. And it's good that you're gluing it right onto the trim because that makes it easier when you go ready to sew it. You don't have to worry about your trim leaving you. So I promised you we were going to do a little mini collage of my bigger one that I did the other day. So if you've seen me following along on that, otherwise you can go and look in the playlist and you'll find it under my sewing tutorial playlist. So I'm teaching you how to incorporate quilting sewing techniques into your junk journaling, scrapbooking, Orange is so difficult to figure out which side is actually the right side. Let's 
some of these fabrics. I've had it in my stash. Oh, for probably hmm, 20 years at least, I know. I made a quilt out of this one. And that's going back 20 years. My daughter was like 8 years old. She's 30 now. Ta-da! I love it. It's so pretty. What do you think? Isn't it gorgeous? <clears throat> so all I have to do is pop a little eyelet in here like I did on this one. So this one I have to stitch it all into place. This one now is all glued in. So the only difference is that little bit right there. Versus you see the difference here. Now with these. So it's really cute. Very easy to do. No problem. I hope you enjoyed this today and stick around for the next video in the series. So we'll be doing more embellishments with patchwork and collages in our junk journal pages, making pockets, tags, um, just all kinds of fun surprises, but using the same technique. So I hope you enjoyed this today. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to get notifications of new videos and uh, like it, comment, all that good stuff. And we'll build, be doing our next giveaway when we hit 300 subscribers. Feel free to join my Facebook group, Junk Journal Junction. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel and follow the rules, which are very simple. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day and keep crafting.